Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be an Excel 2013 quick tip and I'm going to show you how to convert from Unix time or Epoch time uh, into a human readable date and time format. I wanted to quickly point out my website is www.10minutetrain.com and all of the tutorials will eventually be posted out there and here's some other sites that may be of interest to you. I'm going to jump right in here and what I've done is I've listed several uh, times that are you know straight out of a Unix log and I need to convert those into a human time there's lots of good websites out there that you can paste these into and and convert the number however if you've got a whole if you've got hundreds or and or thousands of them uh, one at a time is not really practical so I'm going to show you how to do it in a spreadsheet so I'm going to take this first one and I'm going to convert it and I put the formulas I'm going to scroll down here and share the formula with you first. So the formula to convert it is to take the Unix time or epoch time and divide it by seconds in a day and then you add 25,569 to that number to give you your current date and time in the GMT time zone and we'll talk about Eastern time and uh, other uh, time zones and how to convert those. The 25,569 represents the January 1st 1970 date which is when the clock starts ticking the seconds uh, um, for that Unix time or epoch time. So a couple things I've done here, I just showed you um, the formulas to calculate number of seconds in a day, 86,400. And then also when we talk about time zones and we adjust for time zones, I looked at the difference. Eastern Standard Time is five hours difference from, from GMT time. So that's 60 seconds times 60 minutes times five hours or 18,000 seconds. I did the same formula for PST as an example and then also for EEST which I think is Eastern European uh, summertime I believe and that's plus three hours for 10,800 seconds. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put in the formula here and walk you through it. So I'm going to say equals my epoch time which is cell A2 in this case divided by I can either type in 86,400 or I can reference this cell right here. So I'm going to reference this cell right here. And then by the way, I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to hit the F4 key and make it a constant reference with the dollar symbols and the F4 key will do that for you. And then I'm going to do a plus and I'm going to add the 25,569 to that number. Now there I've got a number which um, does not look like a, a good date format so what I need to do so I'm gonna right click it and say format cells and then when the option comes up here I'm gonna go ahead and choose the date format and you can choose from a whole from a variety here I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and I'm gonna choose the one with the month day the month, day, and the year, and the and the time with a PM. You could, of course, use military time, but I'm going to do the one with the uh, um, PM or AM indicator. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy this down. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this formula down, and it's going to fill them in for all of these. And as you can see, it changes now. It references a, you know, the the cell A5, the cell A6, and so that converts them, and you can see 1252, 1253, 1254, and so forth. So now, and for example, if I come over here and I added a lot to this, if I did, um, I don't know, let's add, uh, let's add 24,000 to it, let's add a big number to it. So you can see I've added several thousand seconds, and you see it, it it, it put um, a date in the future here from these other dates. So now what I want to do is I want to adjust for Eastern Standard Time Zone which is five hours difference for um, from GMT. So as I pointed out Eastern Standard Time is five hours difference or 18,000 seconds and the formula to convert for the time zone is what you do is you, you use this formula right here epoch time plus or minus the seconds in the time zone difference. So if it's if it's if it's behind the time zone, like for example Eastern Standard or Pacific Standard Time, you subtract it. If it's if it's in, uh, ahead of it, for example, the EEST time zone, three hours ahead, 
uh, then you add that number. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that. So I'm going to go ahead and do equals. And now I need the two parentheses. So now I'm going to do my epoch time, just A2. And then I'm going to say minus, in this case I'm going to do Eastern time. So I'm going to go ahead and reference this cell, which is 18,000 seconds. And again, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and hit F4 so it holds it as a constant reference. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that with parentheses and now I'm going to divide that by the 86,400 and again I'm going to make that a constant reference highlight it and hit F4 and then I'm going to close the parentheses and then I have still have to add the 25569 okay and now I'm also what I'm going to do here I'm going to copy these cells and I'm going to go ahead and just copy the formatting which is right here and I'm going to do the same thing for this example Okay, so now, hit escape. Now you can see what happened. You can see that's five hours earlier, so now I'm just going to copy this down. You can see it should change it all to exactly five hours earlier, which it did. Okay, so that's how that works. Now if I want to do a time zone in advance, I can, uh, I'll just do it from scratch. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and do the parentheses, and then I'm going to say my epoch time but now I'm going to do plus the difference because it's three hours ahead plus C21 and I'm going to again I need to set that as a constant reference so I'm going to close that and I'm going to divide it by the 86,400 and again I'm going to make that a constant reference and that's only used for when I have to copy it down copy the uh, formula so it doesn't it doesn't uh, you know, add add uh, the new rows on there, and then I'm going to add the 25569, and there you have it. So you go from 1252 to 352, and I'll copy those down, and that's how you do that. Anyways, thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Please subscribe and take care.